Guten Morgen to my German friends. Good morning to everybody else. Uh, welcome to Making Stuff with Chris Deha. We're continuing the discussion with the uh, Thani editor, and uh, we're looking at some of its more cool and helpful features. Some of them aren't so directly uh, involved with working inside the Pico, uh, so we have to pull the code back out and run it in regular Python uh, within the Thani editor where we can use the debug features. Uh, we did a video on that a short while ago, and I'm going to do another one now so that we can look at a little more of the capability when running in debug. So I'm going to open a file. Um, you'll notice that down here in the lower right-hand corner, I've got local Python 3 selected. Uh, normally, when we're doing our fun stuff, we would be on uh, the MicroPython with a COM port and Raspberry Pi Pico or an RP2040 board of similar uh, construction. Uh, but in this case, I want to work locally with code. Uh, it's my same MicroPython code. Uh, I'm going to load in a modified version of this other program we've been tinkering with. I pulled out the uh, sine and cosine value, or uh, sine calculations for my uh, graphing routine, and stuffed those up here in a function. And uh, that just helps us see uh, the stack, so to speak, as we're uh, debugging through the program. But I want to show you uh, not only the stack, how we can look at the stack, look at the variables, um, but also uh, running to breakpoints and, and that sort of thing. Uh, so we are going to start. I Again, we got to be in local Python 3 uh, so that we get these buttons out of the... Uh, um, grayed out area. I'm going to select the nicer version. I want to view, uh, let's go with variables, and let's go with stack. Okay, so variables up above, stack down here, and we're just going to step through this to get started. Okay, so we get into the loop here. Um, as before, we see variables. Right now we're looking at uh, the, the function get y, and you'll notice that on the stack, get y is now added to our function list. Now, if this function called another function and another one, you'd see that building up in the stack and then disappearing as we work backwards back through the program or back through the function calls. So that's kind of the handy purpose of stack. It helps you figure out where, where you've been in the program and how you got there, especially on complicated programs. Uh, but here we can see uh, our local variables to this function being displayed here as well. So we'll continue through. Now we're going to return back to, uh, or return this value y and exit the function. When we do that, this uh, variable display will go away. This one will update uh, with the variables in the main program. And, of course, our stack will be reduced because we will be outside of the getY function. So we will just hit that. Notice that went away. My getY went away. And now our variables up here will start updating with the next uh, set of calculations. So we'll step through and bada bing. Going through, back into there. Come back out, there's our Y, got increased, and so on. Now, sometimes you don't want to have to sit here and click through, stepping through on a, a large series of calculations and so forth. So you may just want to do something like this. If I click over here, and sometimes it's a little tricky getting it, Okay, we finally got it to pop up. I, it, I don't know what causes uh, uh, the the slowness, but or slow response. But sometimes I got to click it or go down a couple more lines, and then it'll my breakpoint marker will show up. Uh, but nothing really changed here. We're still doing the same thing. But now I want to go faster. So what I'm going to say is resume. And now what it'll do is it'll resume running this loop and stopping on this yget function every time. So we'll hit resume, 
goes to there, hits it again, and again, and again. Now you'll notice I'm not seeing anything show up on my stack or anything like that, because that's all just happening instantaneously. Uh, but this is how you can kind of work through debugging, again, those very complex programs that are rather long, and figure out what the darn bug is, and then kill it, of course. Uh, so that'll wrap it up with this uh, little tip, working with the Thani editor, looking at variables, the stack, uh, breakpoints, and, of course, stepping uh, into as we have been. That'll wrap it up. Thanks for watching. And I'll look forward to seeing you in the next video.